think this front end will hunt in reverse. So we got a call for a Jeep Wrangler Limited or Unlimited. I don't know. Some sort of Jeep that's got a broken sector shaft up on the Tokerville Falls, like the Rattlesnake Gun Range. I don't even know the name of the trail. This is going to be a little tricky because we're going to have to load it on the trailer and then get them out to where they can get some help. But other than that, um, it's going to be a good day. Yeah, it's a warm day today, no wind, which is unusual, about 80 degrees, and uh, we got the Jeep on the trailer, and we'll go up and unload it and get them out. This is going to be super exciting. Are we getting close? That's right. You're close. It's in four low, like I said, and the key's right. in it, however you want to do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look and make a plan here. Okay. So at least we've got a straight tie rod. Yeah. So that's good. You think this front end will hunt in reverse in four wheel drive? We can try. running boards on this you open the door and they drop down so you can get in and out we need those on the wagon for you yeah. Ed see these ain't that neat <laughs> when you shut them they go up the door all the way they'll go up oh.
Okay, Lady Max, load up. Well, that went pretty good. Yeah, up not to this bad point. at all. All right, so we got him there. We went there. We went right. there, got him out. Got him here. here. Dixie four wheel drive in St. George had a, a newer takeoff steering box. So we got that from where we were able to put it on and we're gonna send him on his way. We've got another call to go get to, so we're out of here. So we got a call for a trailer. I guess he got stuck in the sand, he unhooked his truck and left the trailer there. But I told him to go try to get hooked back up to it so we can get him pulled out. Oh, almost all the way to the end of the road? Yeah, you will see, you will see the little trailer in there. Did you get hooked up okay? I couldn't get back in there, so maybe you got an idea when you get okay. there. Okay, we'll figure it out when we get there. He can't get it hooked back up, Ed. Could be a problem there. Yeah. If you get stuck in the sand, don't unhook from your trailer. Because it is a hundred times easier to get a truck and a trailer out than it is to just get a trailer out. Hundred might be high, but it's a lot. It's a lot more difficult. And believe it or not, if I hook my, like if you get stuck in your truck and I hook my Jeep up to the trailer, like, okay, sorry, back up. You get stuck with your truck and trailer, you unhook your truck, and then I come and hook up with my Jeep, there's a good chance I won't be able to move it because I need to be able to store energy in a rope to make this happen. I'm actually not getting much better traction than you are getting. I've just got a little flotation advantage. Oh, well, there's a bunch of people stuck there too. Yeah, there is, look at that. Oh, is that the trailer? That's the trailer right there. Okay, we'll go down and get it. Get it. Doesn't look too bad. There we go. Let it go out more. That's it. That's as much as I want to get. You're probably going to have to dig some holes in the sand. in the sand and then I can just get a little bit of speed and go up. too big this is too small uh -huh. to pull. I can pull your truck and your trailer but not the yeah, trailer. Just, well you told me you bring in a Jeep I thought it this one I just hook it up to it. I mean, uh, yeah. Well that was a smaller trailer than we thought and it hooked up and pulled out pretty easy and Matt done a good job. We done a good job. Okay. Got it under control? So yeah, we can get you out of here, no problem. Okay, Ed, I'll have you pull me out to the road. Okay. Just pull, just pull out like there. All right. So this is awesome. It's like they're in a competition now to see who can. 
Like, how can we design something that can't be hooked to from any angle with anything? <laughs> just just pull forward about two miles an hour and don't stop. You want to jerk it a little? Nope. Two miles an hour. One mile an hour. Okay, go for it, Ed. gonna drag you all the way to the roof. Have, have him. Is it a no? There it is. Good job, Ed. That went really smooth. So we got there, got hooked up to him, got him pulled out pretty easy. Then we picked up another one on the way out. Something, something. Yeah, a bunch of gals were stuck and they're just happy to get out. <laughs> They'd been there all day if we hadn't done. Good job, Matt. Thanks for watching.